Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I wanted to go over the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie Part 2 uh, collection because they did have a prior collection released last year at some point. I don't know, it might have been around the same time, which I have, I've purchased and I pulled out the eyeshadow palette and then the highlighters, um, I did not find the lipsticks. I think I gave away some of them because they were kind of bright on me. But anyways, I will go over that briefly. Um, I want to really get this one in because I know like every, everyone, it's like all over YouTube. So I want to get my own opinion up if it matters to you guys or not. So here is the little postcard. It says, thank you for shopping at Dose of Colors. We appreciate your business and hope you enjoy your new items. I absolutely love Dose of Colors, Color Rain, Juvia's Place. All those indie brands are absolutely phenomenal. Their customer service is always great. I have never had any problems at all with them. And um, yeah, so... I, they have a return policy, but I've, I don't think I've returned anything to them. It came with these really cute stickers. I did see the PR packages. They got this bottle of um, Don Julio, or I, I can't read it, but uh, that would have been great. At this point in time, I could use that. But anyway, it was super cute. I think the friendship is phenomenal. It was so hard to find. A really good friend there is their postcard it says hey girl you thought you could get rid of us nah we're back with round two hashtag desi times katie is back and better than ever we brought the best of the first and added some new heat let's get lit on this friendcation and stay lit with our collection and this is the bag now, I don't have individual prices. I could pull them up. I I bought the bundle, um, and I don't know if they're sold out of anything right now. I'm going to pull it up right now on my phone so I can waste your time while you're sitting here and I'm looking it up. Okay, so let's just get you a... Uh, Okay, let's see here. Now you can earn points. They're doing some kind of a, a point system. Um, but uh, I don't know how that works. Okay, so I am in. Okay, so the eyeshadow palette retails for $55. Um, the highlighters retail for $28. Um, Fugo is sold out. And that is actually from the original. Oh, no. It's, it is a repeat. It is from the first one and in this one. And then uh, the palette is available. I don't see the bundle. So, okay. But anyways, and the lipsticks are 16. And the most lipstick is sold out currently. I'm sure they will replenish. So 55 for the palette, 28 for the highlighters, 16 for the lipsticks. And I'm assuming the lip glosses are, are the same. No, they're 17. My bad. Okay, so anyways, and then I don't see the bundle on there anymore, but I'm sure they will probably restock. I don't know. Um, I was very hesitant on grabbing this um, bundle, and I will tell you why. So here is the original first one um, with the four pan, and it looks like I've, you know, done some good digging in there 
uh, the problem with these is um, two of them can only be used with your finger and um, they burn my eyelids. I believe it's these two right here, Harpoon and Turbosan. I could be wrong, but I don't know. But they burn my freaking eyelid. Um, I can get to the point where after the burning sensation stops, um, you know, I can live with it. But um, I don't like how chunky they are. And I don't like how you can only use your finger. I have tried to brush. And for the life of me, I can't. It just it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. So I have actually put this in my back drawers, which means I'm not grabbing for it. Um, but I'm not ready to get rid of it yet either. So here is the new palette, Frenication. Desi and Katie, Dose of Colors, absolutely gorgeous. So just simple but sleek at the same time, you know? It's beautiful. And then here's the back. And I already took the palette out. This is Basic Necessary, Cheens, Girl, Bye Bye, Churro, Just a Kiss, A Moment, Dirty Money, Try Me, and Game Over. Those are the names of the eyeshadows. Okay, so here are the swatches. This is the top row, and that is the bottom row. So here you go. Here is the palette, top row, and bottom row. Um, so that is what I have on my eyes today. Um, I did not swatch the highlighters. I want to swatch them live. I want you guys to see the differences. I want, I'm going to use my old and my new um, so let's go over the highlighters. So they released Chasing the Sun, same packaging, and they are 0.25 ounces, 7 grams. They're an average highlighter size. And then Fugo, Fuego, if I'm saying it wrong, sorry. Um, this is a dupe. Well, not a, oh my God. It's not a freaking dupe. It is a double. They released it last year. Uh, last year was Miramay. Mirame, Mirame. I'm trying. Chasing the sun is this year. And last year was also Fuego. So this year and last year were Fuego. So this is going in a giveaway because I have two. So there is a slight difference in the packaging. This is last year. This is this year. So this is a little bit of a deeper gold bronze. This is lighter gold. Um, so let's swatch. Um, we are going to swatch Merrimay. This is from last year. I'm going to swatch it right here. Okay, and then we're going to swatch. This is from this year now. Chasing the Sun is a brand new one. gorgeous look at that it, but it is a deep deep kind of bronze it is um more for a medium skin tone um you could use it as like a blush topper but it is definitely for medium to deep skin tones and then fuego this one is definitely lighter for lighter skin tone i would recommend fuego um, and or uh, Merrimay, but Chasing the Sun, I would say, is definitely uh, geared towards deeper, medium to deep skin tones, which I think is amazing because you see the light, the medium, and the dark. So there's definitely an arrangement for um, all skin tones here. So again, I have doubles of Fuego um, that will be in a giveaway. I don't know what giveaway it'll be in. It could be in the Halloween. It could be in a pop-up. It could be any point in time. I am wearing um, Chasing the Sun right here. I am wearing that right here. And then I am wearing Fuego, which is the lighter one, uh, right here, right here, and right here. It was definitely the lighter of the three is Fuego. Um, and then the lips, there are dupes of the lips, but again, I think I gave them away, maybe to my daughter or something. 
But let's just see if they have reformulated. Here is the inside. I did have the eyeshadow palette out because I used it today. They are all in this gorgeous packaging. And what I really was intrigued on was they made like a velvet type. So here's all of six. So we have the tube lip six, uh, two lip glosses and liquid velvet. I am a big fan of the liquid velvet from Kylie. I absolutely love them. They are so non drying and they last forever and they don't bleed on the lips, like through the lips, you don't get like, you know, it doesn't come through. So first we're gonna start with Hey Girl, which is the tube lipstick. These are $16. Here is the packaging, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Lashers, I believe is probably about the same. I do still probably have a couple, but I did not pull them down. So again, this is Hey Girl. Uh, very creamy. I love the color. It is like a rosy nude kind of color. Almost good for like almost any skin tone. I like that. That is beautiful. So that was Hey Girl. Now I'm going to try on Aftermath. At the end I will give you my opinion on all these items. I'm curious to see if they change up. This is the same packaging as the other one. I love tube lipsticks. I'm gearing more towards those. Oh, mine was kind of like dented on the top. Hope it's not. Ooh, it's broken. See, I just took these out of the box. I'm going to have to. Uh... Ooh, it's totally broken. It's falling in and off. Um, this is probably the one there's a lot of. What is it? Aftermath? Yeah. So I'm going to be very careful and try this on. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. This is a very pretty color too. Definitely more brown. My nose is itching. There's a fly. I've been trying to kill all mornings on my nerves. So this is definitely a darker color, more brown tone to it. Um, it's pretty. I definitely like the other one better on me, though. That is a pretty color. Great for fall. Um, I really think it is a beautiful uh, color for fall. Now we're... Moving into the liquid velvet a mauve story. I'm very very curious to see how these fill here is the packaging. I am Not on the bandwagon of loving dose the colors like liquid lipsticks. I'm just not I've tried them and for me. They're very dry This is very like, like a mousse kind of texture. Let me give it a moment and see if it dries down. Yeah, I know a lot of people are really crazy over their liquid lipsticks, but I have really never been a big fan of them. It's just my opinion, but give this a moment. I like the way it feels because it feels like a mousse texture, like creamy on the lips. I don't think it's going to bleed through, but it doesn't feel dry, like it's sucking the life out of your lips. It feels very, very comfortable, almost like a 
cushiony pillow on your lips. Ooh, I like that. Okay, let's try on the next one. Okay, next one is my main. Mind you, these are the liquid velvet. Same packaging. I love the packaging. It's just so beautiful. It was, it was like simple but sleek. Like I said in the beginning, I'm, I'm repeating myself. I don't know why. Really pretty. Oh, so I'm going to order the new Natasha Denona palette and let this dry down for a minute. My main. This is a beautiful color. Very, very universal. Um, so was the other one. They're gorgeous. Let, I'm going to let it dry down for a minute. Oh, I let it dry down for a minute. Um, so I went to order the new Natasha Denona gold palette. And, uh, okay, so the velvets definitely dry down. This one has dried down completely. And I'm actually going to try out one of the lip glosses over it, um, to see if it makes it, you know, bleed or anything. So the first one we have is over the top. I believe this is the same one as last year. It looks like it, it is very pretty gold shifts. Um, I'm just not a big lip gloss person, although I did just buy the Fenty, so I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I am. This is stunning, stunning lip gloss, um, and it goes over it really well, but I have a feeling it'll, like, after time bleed through the lip line, but it feels so creamy so soft it's like putting on at night i put on a lip mask or um, some kind of a lip balm and it is like that super soft so that is the over the top lip gloss i believe those were 17. And this one is the most and i'm going to actually leave my lips like this because i like it and i'm going to just swatch this one this smell a little bit sweet. Not too sweet, though. That is gorgeous. It actually kind of reminds me of the Fenty, um, which I have sitting right here. I, I'm, like, not even showing you. I'm going to twist my arm right here. So let's just watch it by it. Okay, so that's Desi and Katie. Oh, no, Fenty's way, way more uh, out there, pigmented. And I love, I love this. I have her original too. Okay, so let me just go over the eyeshadow palette because I used it already today all over my lid. I use every color in here except for this rose color. It has a small mirror. It is texturized and it is a deeper color than the year before. This is lighter. This is more of a bronze gold. This is a light gold. I love the texture. I don't get any um, glitter or nothing off of it. The names of the shadows are on the back, which looks like I've made a mess of. Just wipe it off. In here it says, Frenication palette contains a mix of long wearing mattes and ultra dazzling eyeshadows. The matte shades are rich with pigment and blend like a dream. The ultra dazzling shades are packed with multi-dimensional reflex, creating a glistening finish for intense color payoff. Apply with finger. For softer coverage, apply onto eyelids using your preferred brush. So you can use a brush or your finger. My personal preference is if I buy an eyeshadow palette, I want to use my brushes. I didn't buy an eyeshadow palette to stick my finger in it and then, you know, paint my eyes. That is my personal opinion. That is why I have makeup brushes. So when I am sold the eyeshadow palette that is only with your fingers, I am not a happy person and I shouldn't be buying it, right? So anyways, 
I was not going to buy this, but look at these colors right here. They were just like, bam, okay? I have to say that this palette is so stunning. I didn't use my finger. I didn't even spray my brush. I just used a brush. I used every single one of these browns and I just built them up in the crease. I used this one up in the brow bone. As you can see, I use this gorgeous olive green on my lid. And then I use the deeper blue right here. I had to get the blues in somewhere and I know everybody on the internet has been using the blues on the lid. I wanted to do something different and I used this brighter one right here. And then I use this one in the inner corner. I have absolutely no irritation, no burning. They are definitely, definitely a different formula. They have to be a different formula from these, because these, I mean, you can't even tell the difference in the texture. These look very dense and very kind of like muddy, like you have to dig in there to get your color. I mean, don't get me wrong, when you get the color, it is pretty, but you really gotta dig in there and get it. And then there you go. I don't know. But um, this was just not up my alley. This is absolutely 100% stunning. I have to say that I am so glad I bought this and didn't pass because I will get so much use out of this palette. And I know if you color these, color, no, if you cover these up, they look neutral, but these pop and they are beautiful and they blend and they are pigmented 100%. If you're looking at this collection and you're like, I can only get one piece out of it, get the eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh, stunning. Mm, I love it. The highlighters, now I know there's only two, so I'll just pull out the two. Um, so Fuego and Chasing the Sun, but I don't want to take the other Fuego out of the box. Um, gorgeous. I love their highlighters. I um, love Sarahi. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry. Um, I have it right here because I use them all the flipping time as well as these. These highlighters are stunning. They are worth $28. I did not regret last year's and I do not regret this year's. Um, but again, just FYI, this is a deeper shade chasing the sun as for medium to deep, unless you just don't care. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna wear what I wanna wear. Um, but I'm just letting you know, it is the deeper of the three. Fuego is the lighter of the three so if you have a very light skin tone fuego might be up your alley which is going to be a giveaway for me and marry me i don't know if it's on the website anymore i did not see it doesn't mean it's not there it just means i didn't see it okay and then the lipsticks okay the tube lipsticks i love the colors are absolutely so neutral and stunning um, I would highly recommend probably Hey Girl over this one, but um, I, I did email them that this one is broken. Hopefully it doesn't fall out, but um, Aftermath, they are both gorgeous. So let me just watch because they just, they're so perfect for fall, you guys. My gosh, I think they did just a stunning job, both of them. Just, so this is more of a brown um rose undertone this is definitely a pinky rose kind of color so it depends on what you like and what you go for but i love them both i just i really i, I think that this collection uh really made up for last year's because last year's was just kind of eh you know if your eyeshadow palette doesn't work out of the collection that's like the main core for me then you got a problem the velvets oh my gosh so i'll swatch these real quick my main right here again i am loving velvet formula i'm just 
I'm so over liquid mattes, even though I'll probably buy more because I'm just, uh, a mauve story. Um, these are just so much more creamy and better probably for your lips. So it's a mauve story and my, my what? My main. Cute names too. Um, the colors again are absolutely stunning. They actually look very similar to the two lipsticks. So I would say you can just it, by preference pick if you're undecided like do I want the tube lipsticks or do I want the velvets? I mean, don't they look kind of similar like that one to that one and that one to that one? You know, I, I think they're similar enough. You don't have to buy all of them. Um, personally, uh, my preference would be the liquid mattes. Uh, I think they last a little bit longer and they feel so creamy. The lip glosses are stunning. I have one swatch here. I will swatch. This is from last year over the top again i think i gave mine away it is pretty has little gold specks i just for me my honest opinion when it comes to a gloss it, it just they look the same within minutes there is the one that is more the white sparkly um after a few minutes a gloss is a gloss and i just don't think you need to waste your money on a $17 gloss unless you want to and you're a collector. Um, so my main thing is the velvets and the palette. But I think the whole collection was an absolute hit. Thank God because, you know, when you buy a whole collection and you get it and you're very let down, uh, it's just so disappointing. But this was just a hit absolutely i totally recommend it you guys so amazing and it is um at ulta now so that is also great anyways that is my review i hope you enjoyed it i absolutely love love these shades stunning thank you dizzy and katie amazing collab and i'm so glad you have such a great friendship um, it is hard to find and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching.